Hello consumers, I'm Robert A. Altman, Chairman and CEO of Zenimax Media. You may have seen last month on this channel a semi-inaccurate video about how Bethesda deals with developing their video games. To the creators of this channel, I say thank you. You helped sweep under the rug the real problem behind Bethesda's issues. Us. You see, we at Zenimax Media love to make Bethesda our bitch. We were founded by Christopher Weaver and myself back in 1999. Christopher was one of the founders of Bethesda, and I was a lawyer from DC. Let that sink in. A former DC lawyer is now the CEO of one of the biggest video game publishers. It's like I sold my soul to two devils. The Elder Scrolls Arena was a fairly popular game back in the 90s, but the bugginess of Daggerfall and its two spin-off games left Bethesda nearly bankrupt. That's where we came in, and now you can see why we lord over Bethesda with an iron fist. We saved them from becoming bankrupt. You're welcome. Our company is responsible for acquiring the publishing rights to a lot of video game franchises, most of which aren't even good. But we still let our little baby do what it wants to with its beloved Elder Scrolls series. I mean, to a certain extent. We had to crack the whip really hard to get Morrowind and Oblivion done within the next century. It's probably the only reason why we're still attached to this company. Yes, we own the rights to both those games. We even got the rights to the Fallout series from Interplay. It was a way to let our little slave child stretch its creative feet, applying the world of Elder Scrolls to a post-apocalyptic future. But Bethesda had to go all prima donna on us and delay finishing New Vegas to work on another Elder Scrolls title. So we brought on Obsidian Entertainment. You know, the people who ruined Knights of the Old Republic too. If you think Bethesda makes glitchy games, go check out their track record. But Bethesda sure showed us. They finished Skyrim entirely without our help, and it was a commercial success. Fantastic, Bethesda. Fantastic. It's like you've distracted your entire fan base from the fact that you haven't finished Fallout 4 yet. Look, I know we sued Interplay because they wanted to make Fallout Online, but it's okay. We came up with a settlement where they get $2 million, and we get to tell them to shove it. It's a fair trade. It's also the reason why Fallout 4 probably won't be completed within the next millennium. But we wanted something bigger than a commercially successful video game. So we created our own development team that made the Elder Scrolls MMO. And it sucked because we don't know anything about making games. Maybe we should have let Bethesda take care of that one. But thank God that internet video creators don't do their homework. Otherwise, people would know that we're the bastards that ruined that game. So that's Zenimax, the purest form of corporate evil laying down an iron fist on its developers. But it's okay. We saved them from bankruptcy, so we can do whatever the hell we want. Zenimax, stifling our developers' creativity since 1999. Oh, I completely forgot about ID Software and Rage. Well, you'll have to see what they say about that next month. Whoops. Let that cat out of the bag. <laughs>